What is up everybody? I am actually in a public park right now. We have Manhattan behind us. We've got the Statue of Liberty somewhere over It's on there. the other side, I'll take you. Roy here, he is an employee, is that safe to say? Uh, the rep, yeah, from rep? Wingham. Yeah. For Wingham? Yeah. Wingham, and that's what's behind me right here. Wingham is a phenomenal RV. I can still say RV and van light, they're the same thing. We're gonna get into all of the details. This is the only one in this North America right now? in the entire country, yeah. In North, in North America? Yeah, pretty much. In, in the country. And we're, we're gonna see it. And what their plans are with this whole RV for the future and how you guys can also get one. So stay tuned for all that. Here we go. Roy, man, what's going on, bud? What's going on? Just here for the tour? Just let me know. <laughs> Well, you want to go in, man? I mean, we're going to go in in a minute, man. Sweet. Thank you for having me come out. If you guys hear some noises, we got some helicopters and stuff overhead. It is Memorial Day. We are at that Veterans Memorial. You've got a phenomenal, phenomenal, and we're going to get to the exterior at the end here. You're a rep for technically the W Motorhome Sales of North America. Correct. Which is the exclusive third-party distributor for Wingham Motorhomes in North America. Correct. Okay, so that's who is the third party through Wingham, because Wingham is a European company. Yes, we're based out of Verona, Italy, and um, we're just helping them distribute here in the States. We've already said Memorial Day, 2023. Correct. Do you know when it is scheduled to be here in the States? So for those that have preserved uh, a van, you should be getting an email from us if you haven't already. Uh, delivery should start late this summer. So people can do pre-orders? Correct. And they're about a year out. So if you put a reservation down today, you should be getting yours around Memorial Day weekend of next year. So a year out. From what I understand, there's also crowdfunding involved. Yes, there is crowdfunding. Literally own a piece of piece Wingham, of this, uh, which is, uh, but it's the W Motorhome Sales, correct? Yeah. Yes. Wingham is one of the largest, if not the largest, in European. Yeah, the been, market. Yeah, they've been around since the 70s and very popular. We have three different models out in Europe, which we are also bringing here to the states, eventually. And you can also reserve one of them as well through our site or through us at wingham.com. So you just mentioned three different models. Correct. What model is this right here? So this is the 540.1 and then there's the 610, which is about 20 feet long and then the 690, which is about 23 feet long. So this is the smallest of the three? Correct. I usually ask right at the top of the video, make model chassis. This is a little bit different than what we're gonna be getting here in the States, but what is make model chassis? So it will be a Dodge Promaster 3500 kind of abridged, I like to say. So you have a turning radius that's very, very tight, kind of driving a nice Odyssey, if you mm -hmm. guys are familiar with the Honda Odyssey. And we're just gonna put this nice monocoque shell on top of that, keep it nice in one piece, no seams, no no leaks or anything. So it's pretty much gonna look exactly like this. It's gonna, do, it's gonna be identical to this. The differences for the 540.1, if you have been following us on YouTube from the Tampa show of this year, will be a handle on the door and a redesigned step for ease of access and also a backsplash for the kitchen. You've already showcased this at the Tampa show, you yes, said. Yes, it was our second year this year. Mm -hmm. it was, and how did that go? Uh, I mean, the first year was an eye-opener to the RV life for myself. I mean, I'm a big camper, uh, ex-Boy Scout. I mean, once a Boy Scout, always a Boy Scout. It just opened my eyes to, you know, another type of living. I saw how many people were interested in this. It was hard to keep people away from the van. Mm. Trying to, you know, when you go to a, to a site like that, you have specific roles to fill as a rep, but that went out the window. People just kept coming in and out, asking questions. Second year was a bit more structured, but we still had the same amount of traffic. So very, and, very interesting. And before we step inside, uh, I just want to mention, we were we were just driving through Jersey because that's yeah. where that's where this is right now. And we went and got coffee. I and forgot to get your coffee, so we kind of like, You did forget to get me my coffee, yeah. but it's okay. You made up for it. Uh, we <laughs> We, we pulled into a spot and I was like, hey man, you're gonna fit into the spot and you laughed at me. Yeah. Because <laughs> bumper to bumper is only 17 and a half feet, right? 17.9, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, so almost 18. Almost 18, but yeah, it was a, we just pulled in, parallel parked, literally just for a cup of coffee, stepped out of the door of the coffee shop and right away someone was like, can I see the van? Oh man. They were, we, we minding were their own business, we saw it pulled in, they saw it pulled in and it was just like, can I see it? And then a second person, can I see it? And it was like, I see like 10 people out of those 10, six saw the van and they were like, this is the next big thing. And it was my whole point of that is it, it fit perfectly in the city. Yeah. It was so nice. Yeah. All right. Can we step on in yeah, and we kind of just show off? I don't even know where to start, man. Let's just well, get let's in just there. Get in it. Uh, first thing is a little garbage can right here. And it's pretty cool. You can just remove this. Let's say you have a leaky bag. Take this out, rinse it out, make it nice and clean. Or if you're having a cookout, I was gonna say, how convenient is that? That is yeah. such a great idea. Yeah. Garbage right on the outside, like you said, you could be camping out here because the awning's out here. Yep. That's a genius idea right yep. there. So like I mentioned, the American model will have the handle somewhere around this area. Okay. 
and it'll have a redesigned step for ease of access. Okay. And before you get in, one little surprise. Oh, a little screen. Little screen door, nice fresh air, no bugs. It's, and it's a magnetic strip as well. Oh, okay. Come on in. Now, I would I would ask you, like normally when I do van tours, I, will, I usually ask these custom van builders, like, hey, who makes this, who makes this? But it seems like Wingham does it all. Wingham does it all. We do have uh, a Wabasto stove. It will be a different brand for the stove top, but we have a Dometic AC, a Dometic uh, five gallon cassette system. The windows actually are Dometic as well. The okay. dual pane plexiglass is Dometic. The refrigerator will be a Trivalent. I think I pronounced that right. But everything else, all the cabinets, all the seats, the leather, <clears throat> the tabletop, everything is made for with Wingham. The first thought to me is when I see a, a, a rig of this size, an RV or a van of this size, I think storage is going to be a factor. Correct. And how the heck am I going to fit sleeping two people with a bathroom? All right, so, so. to answer the first part, storage, you have six cabinets, three on each side, and they lock as you're driving. You can fit cups, silverware, snacks because they're accessible when the bed is down which i'll show you in a second oh no the bed's the best part so we're yeah. gonna wait so on we'll that save, we'll save that for the end <laughs> and yeah just open everything up small things like i pack army style so i roll all my clothes okay and you can fit me are you former military or you just that was a boy scout thing that's just a boy scout thing okay um and then we just fold them up like here just looking at this i can fit maybe two weeks of clothes easily in this one little cabinet for the people that don't pack like you and i do because we're we're used to this yeah. what about the ones that hanging clothes because hanging I, clothes so i believe it's behind me i'm gonna switch it up me. yeah switch it up perfect and then opens up dude look at how that so much room yeah and i say you're a businessman you can fit a couple suits in here camping gear raincoats everything goes up here and then for your your footwear you have some room down here let me just get this out of the way space that is crazy everything locks with a simple press all right, so out of sight, out of mind. Um, I'm already wowed by the design and the functionality of it, but out of sight, out of mind, what do you got for heating and your electrical components? So heating is a Truma Combi system, yep. and it heats the water and it heats the reading heat from the floor. So and this is real radiant floor heating. This is not an electronic pad. No, no, it's just the piping runs through the floor and as the water runs through the pipes, it'll heat up the floor and everything's connected through this pad right here. And this is your electrical unit here. You can see the voltage for batteries for the chassis and the cabin, your water levels, auxiliary power, pump. Everything's just nice and neat over here. And um, you also have your AC and heat up here, which is, it'll be a little different than this one. It'll be a much quieter system. The True Macombi is is a next level heating system no, with I, I hot water. It. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. You have hot water on demand pretty much. Behind us right here, behind you I should say, yeah. you have what I didn't think was possible to fit a massive bathroom in here. Yeah, I mean, I'm six feet tall. Well, with these sneakers, I'm probably like six two, but. And thank you for saying that, because I actually usually ask that and I need to know because people need to reference height wise. Yeah, so excuse the glasses, but even being on six two, have nice headroom and some people may be thrown off. Oh, I don't want a wet bath. That's what this is for. Right. So you throw this around you. It covers the sink, the toilet, the window. Take your shower, once you're done, collapse it. And those, oh, but can I shower outside? You can, you can just open this up. Can I shower outside? Some people, you know, they're like, hey, can I shower outside? And then the shower just detaches. And it just goes outside, oh, goes I outside. get it. You have sandy feet from the beach. You wanna do, rinse them off before you get into the van. Hey mom, pass me the shower head. Door, yes, you please. have a five gallon cassette system under the toilet. And you have a nice full size sink. Nice Everything and sturdy. is solid in here. Mm -hmm. Everything is great. Is it going to be this this plastic or it's not? It's actually a vinyl. It's like a vinyl. It's yeah. a vinyl, but because that's solid wood with a vinyl. Mm -hmm. um, it, can you just can you kind of pick and choose, or is this going to be it? So customization is pretty open. You can change the color of the leather. You can f uh, finish differently in terms of fabric. You can change the color of the stove top. You can mix and match. Um, we have a couple of trims: the Costieri, the Metropolitan. Which is probably to be my favorite uh, black leather oh, and a yeah. matte white instead of the shiny white. Or you can get the Cossier, which is more of like, a, like the name says, like a coastal brownish finish. And they're, or the Dolomiti, which is the third one. And they're all from an interior designer kind of st standpoint. Mm -hmm. So it makes it feel like a high end apartment. So before I, and this, by the way, the leather is gorgeous. That's no, comfortable. Um, uh, before we show the upper bed up here, yeah. this, I believe, can sleep. Four, three? Four, I mean, I'd say four in terms of like two adults and two kids. Yeah. But if, you know, you're 
two adults up here and one adult down here. Okay, now I'm mostly saying for families, because there's gonna be a lot of families that are gonna want this. This is a bed right here. Mm -hmm. um, can you, whoa, seatbelts. Yes. You've got seatbelts. Yeah, So this point seatbelts. So you can travel with four with seatbelts comfortably. Just... I believe it's illegal to have sideways seatbelts because of crash, but look at that. You even tested it out yeah. for me. <laughs> yeah, it's good. You, you gotta get it for the video. People are like, oh, how does it look like when you're sitting in it? And this is how it looks. All right, now you're gonna demonstrate the, the, the second bed for, I guess the second bed. Some yeah. people might use it as primary. So it's pretty simple. This bed locks. So as you're driving, it doesn't bump anything. So I'm just gonna unlock it. Slides out this way. You're gonna step on that little black button on the ground and it allows you to push it down under these two cushions. Now, that's your bed. Now, while we have this down, I wanna show you another little quirk of this van. You might ask, oh, storage like we did before. Let's say it's pouring rain and you have a bag in here. Just take that cushion off and boom. Oh, there's your store. There's, there's oh, your and bag. then you access the outside one. Correct. So that's my bag. Yeah. Oh, look at that. And then just, my idea would be to turn this to like a pantry, so non-perishables in here. Yep. And then you put your meats, cheeses, and everything in the refrigerator so you can even have more room in the refrigerator, you know, for your IPAs or whatever. I love IPAs, yeah. That's what I drink, so. <laughs> That's what I would bring on the long haul. And then just push the same button, and it'll come right up. And I believe that table slides both ways, Yeah, right? so it slides back and forth. Yep. And it also rotates. Where is the hip? Oh, really? Yeah, so it goes. Oh my goodness. Dude. So let's say you want to have dinner and put a, put a movie on. You swivel the seats. Put a movie on? Where are, you, where are you seeing a TV? Well, you can have one installed right on that wall right there. No way. Dude, look at how much room you just made. Hang out. And I'm not going to cut any of that. I want to show people how easy that was. Hang out, watch TV, or have someone. You can use this as a counter space to cook. I was about to say, look at all the counter space that you just opened up for me while I cook when maybe my family might be outside. Yeah, you put your groceries in here, take everything out, cut everything up, wash your veggies, whatever, put it up on the cook or give it to someone out the door. Man, the Italians know what's up um, design-wise. I have someone sit here, so let me put it back how it was before. They say you, you wanna work and you wanna face people, you can just push the table to you, have your laptop here. That is so slick. Have someone read a book. Have someone hang out here. I find my whole team in here, a team of six runners. One was sitting on the counter, one was sitting here, one was sitting here, four were sitting here, two were sitting there, one was standing, and we weren't claustrophobic at all. I want you to show me this this bed. Oh, yeah. So, this bed is, is it the primary sleeping? It is the primary sleeping, and I'll show you why. So, nice little tug. So is that, that is amazing, by the way. Is that a, it's not a Murphy. It's, no. I don't know what to call it. Me neither, but it's just it's just a very you know push or hide away bed, and very simple. You get your steps. I'm using the steps because I don't want to get anything dirty. But when you own your wingum, you can pretty much just step on the couch, step on the countertop, and jump up. But I'm going to use the ladder. All right, you're up there, man. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you are a runner. Yeah. You are in great shape. You're six foot. I yeah. would say you're about a buck eighty-five. Buck seventy. Okay. Yeah. You, wow, I went a little high on you. Sorry it's, it's about fine. that. What is the weight? Because I know that's going to be a question. What is the weight capacity? Seven hundred pounds. Seven hundred pounds. So easily two of me can sit up yeah. there. Because I'm heavier than you. I'm not going to say how much I weigh. But I'm not going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need to lose some some weight. I understand this, but I can easily have two of me up there, which would be which would be everybody's fantasy. And people say, oh, but what about how long it is? So like I said, you can just come back here. You're six foot. Yeah. This is just the cushion for the bottom bed, but you can lay here and people don't sleep like this. People usually sleep. Yep. You but know. That, that cushion goes on the other Correct. this bed down here. Mm -hmm. um, wow. And holy Christmas, you have two skylights. Two skylights open right up. And you also have your screen for the bugs. Mm -hmm. And you also have your privacy. And does that other one do the same thing? It does do the same thing, yeah. You can stargaze? Yeah, stargaze, open it up, have the breeze come in. Good. All right, everybody, that was a little awkward, a little weird, not a big deal. We were just in an area that we weren't allowed to be parked at, and we moved into more of a downtown setting. And actually, I kind of like that because I feel that this RV is 
made for someone that maybe has a place in the city but it wants to get out and get away. Now, can it be a, 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 an RV for anything? Yeah, absolutely. You can make an RV into anything you want. You can be out in the rural areas, more rural, and still have this as an RV. But I really feel like having something like this, this size, is really perfect for a city city life or somebody that maybe works in the city and wants to go away for the weekends or something along those lines so definitely um i don't mind this backdrop either i mean that's downtown manhattan behind me so i don't know why roy didn't take me over here to begin with but let's finish up this tour <laughs> where we left off pretty much the bed now in terms of storage you can go back up there for me man thank you no problem <laughs> um in terms of storage like i said you have these cabinets Perfect for like snacks, whatever. Well, I was gonna say, you, now you have access. Correct, you have you access, have access to, to Like you were saying how you want your clothing up here. Yeah. So now your clothing is up there. You can maybe, you know, take your socks take off. Take your or socks something. off. Hey, I want another shirt for PJs. Open this up, rolled up shirt, put it on, close it. It's not gonna open. And people, oh, can you fall off? No, you have these two guardrails here. Question for you, Roy, is I see obviously the two skies, we've already yeah. touched upon them. We're big on solar. Do we, do we have solar so here? So you will have one solar panel standard. It'll be placed somewhere around this empty area on the roof. Okay. And you have an option of upgrading that to a second one. 240, I think, per... Per panel? Per, per panel, yeah. Oh, wow, that's a big panel. Yeah. That's plenty, though. Yeah, but I mean, people like to be off the grid, you know, boondock somewhere. I'm sure they have a DC to DC charger where it can charge from the, the alternator. Correct, so yeah. as we drove here, the battery's charged. And that's all you really need. Yeah. Also up here, you have, you will have, um, USBs up here and an outlet to connect your chargers for your phones, your tablets. And if you have a TV way. mounted, you can still right watch here, TV yeah. in bed. Mm -hmm. I see the speakers. Is that Correct. come standard or is yes, that an upgrade? standard. It's a standard speaker system, standard mm, audio unit. Guys, we also have we're in a we're in a downtown setting, so it is a plus minus that people could maybe walk by and maybe poke their heads in during this. So if somebody yeah. does. Sorry, this bed is awesome. You already touched upon the 700 pounds it can Correct. hold. I kind of want to reiterate that, that it's 700 pounds. That's yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's comfortable. You see, I've, I've been sitting up here the whole time. Like, I'm not like slouching or anything. So even if you're a shorter, a shorter stature, you can be super comfortable, curl up in a ball back here. Now you already, you already touched upon your, your height, six yeah, foot. six foot, yeah. Do you mind putting the bed back up and seeing if you can walk underneath it? Yeah, yeah. Because I don't remember, I mean, I know you did. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So you, you're you're pretty much right there. I mean, I fit under here easily because I'm only five yeah. eight five nine. Six six foot's like right where that is. I yeah, would I say. mean, and, and the reason why it's a little tight, not tight, but the cushions here. Yeah. So if I were to take that down, you'll get about an extra two inches of headroom. Okay. But we, I just store it up there for you know showcasing. You have a nice countertop, and you also have a lot of cabinetry here. Soft Lots clothes. of storage. Lots of kitchenware and storage and everything else. And if you guys are curious about options, you can get a microwave oven. It will take the space of these two, but that's an option. You can get one. Really? Mm -hmm. How much water do we have on board? So it's 18 and a half fresh, 28 and a half gray. Okay. And then you have the five gallon cassette system for your toilet. Uh, and then you also said there was an option for cooking as well. Correct. So you have, well, you see there's an electric stove top, but you can have the standard two stove burner, which will power off from the propane tanks. And the propane tanks, we're going to show that on the exterior yeah. where those would go. Right now, my bag is in there. Uh, and you got your refrigerator right here. Mm -hmm. So now the refrigerator will be a trivalent refrigerator, a three by three. So it will take up this whole area here. It'll be much bigger. For the American market. That's pretty awesome, dude. Yeah. So now now that we're still inside, now these lights, you can just tap them, turn them off. Oh, whoa. Or night light. Oh, wow. And you can do it all around. Are um, those also on a switch or are they just tap? Uh, they're on that switch right here. Yeah. Or you can do it up here on the 12 volt. But press 12 volt, all the lights go on, but the electrical system's still on. Okay. And you press 12 volt again, turn it back on. Now this, you can even make it brighter. Like so. Oh yeah, wow. Or you can dim it. And you have the same system on these light strips as well. Can you put that bed down one more time? I just want to see something. Look at, look, look, you still have all that room in there for the guests. That's still a lot of room in there for guests. Mm -hmm. And then you got the two reading lights back there too. Right, too, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, dude, this thing is ridiculous. Nice push, and it's very simple. Boom. Can I see this? Can I, yeah, I just yeah. want to feel Take this? Yeah, take a pull in. 
That's really easy to pull down. Wow, it's on, it's on like a spring or something. It's some type of mechanism that's hidden in those walls, but like I said, it, it's, it's a little tough coming down. See, it takes a little bit of strength. But once you get to this area, you can just... Wow, that's real, but it looks really easy. And, and then once you get on it, the weight locks, locks it, in, it in. And you're good to go. And then you just push it right back up. That is one of the coolest beds <laughs> I've ever seen. We're, let's walk outside and we're right, gonna check out the outside that. right now. Yeah. I am a wide human. Uh, do you know? Do you know the the, the the dimensions upside like two feet maybe? Yeah, I can fit through there. I just, just I just it. I just fit through there easily. All right, so you've got the awning. Looks yeah, like it's yeah, a Fiona five, awning. Uh, seven and a half feet when you when you roll it out. Um, now, it's first thing, like you said, this is what your propane tanks would be. You can open it up. Your bag's currently in there. A couple cleaning supplies, but you will have two 20 pound tanks. For okay. Propane. That will help out with the water heater the refrigerator and your stove if you decide to get this and that's done. that's just an option it's not no it will come with it because the, the true milk combi needs that for the heat okay as well okay. for the refrigerator now if you head with me to the back of the car and you people are, oh but i need more storage i need more storage no problem that's a lock right there yeah so it's two two locks but back here and you by the way have, what these are are these those are the sensors, sensors. Yeah. those are the sensors comes down uh, chairs, tables, bicycles. There's a lot of room. Golf, now, golf will this, clubs. Will this come with a, does it have a hitch? You can have a tow hitch installed, and while we're on the base of options, you can have a bike rack, an e-bike rack, a spare tire up here, and a tow hitch down at the bottom. Wow. Uh, camera for backup camera, backup everybody. Camera. For That's obviously very essential for parking in cities. Yep. Parking and in general. Lock, yeah, parking in general. Back on the exterior, we have the five gallon cassette system, same locking mechanism. But like I mentioned before in the pamphlet, it's gonna open this way instead of up. Okay, like so right now it's opening up. Correct. But, and there so you that's what pulls out. Pulls out. And it's on wheels, obviously. It's a little briefcase full of your stuff. Um, <laughs> and it breaks down, there's two tablets in there that break all the waste down. Yep. And then once you get to the restroom that you wanna say Ritz Carlton somewhere or 7-Eleven. <laughs> you went two opposite ends you of know, the spectrum. You know, it's just the spectrum, you know what I'm saying? Get to the restroom, open the cap up, dump it, rinse it out, close it again. I used to have a style like that, and it was actually great. No, uh, it's it's convenient, and this little setup here, your SOG system is just the ventilation. Okay. For the five gallon cassette system, this is your short hookup, or your auxiliary power. It looks a little weird, it's because it's a European That's a European, plug, that's not American, yeah. But it'll be the American plug. You'll also have your Truma venting system for the Truma combi system on the other side of this wall. And then your water fill is right here. Wow. And if you're wondering, oh, where does the gray water go? You will have a spigot right under here where you can hook up the discharge hose. And it was, this, oh, that's oh, the that's storage. The storage that we that's showed the storage, earlier. yeah, from the inside. But this that's is right. the outside wow. access. So like I said, if it's raining, you're snowed in somewhere, but you have, you know, a can of baked beans in here, you can just access it from the inside. You don't have to get your feet wet. Dude, this thing is ridiculous. So all the windows are anyway. awning or so sliders? Just this one's an awning and the restroom one's an awning. Okay. The one on the kitchen is a, a slide. Sliding, yeah. And like I mentioned, all the windows, see look, we're keeping the bugs out. Keeping the bugs out. <laughs> but you, if you want some privacy, you can just push it up. Wow. Blackout shades all around. And then again, just another feature that's like I said, privacy. Blackout windows. What? That's pretty on, cool. On the door is awesome. That's rad. You don't have to. You don't have to take them off. Store them somewhere. You know, take up space somewhere else. They're already integrated within the cabin. Oh, you also have a Wi-Fi hotspot. Anybody, like anywhere you have signal, you can work from home. If you're a mobile worker, so if you're bored of the city life, hop in this. Take your laptop. You can work from anywhere in the country. Or anywhere that has signal. Anywhere. I am truly, truly impressed. And yeah, from the exterior, I mean, that's how much. That's it. That's all you that's need. That's all you need, man. And like I said, we're in the middle of this uh, downtown Jersey City. We have Manhattan in the backdrop. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this thing is cute as a button. Thank like, you. it's not Oh, the you. man, oh, the man, okay, okay. <laughs> all right, Roy, I want you to give me all your information again, but we're gonna get out of the wind and the noise yeah, out here, so yeah. let's step on inside yeah, so you give in. me all that information. And I'm gonna sit down, and I would just love for you to give my audience yet again 
while I am looking at hmm. New York behind you. That is so cool. See? Oh, that's dope. <laughs> it is kind of dope. I want to order one. Where, where do I order one? So for the orders, um, I don't handle the orders. I'll be Tony. Uh, you can email him at us at wingham.com. Okay. That's a direct line to him. He usually answers within 24 hours. Um, or you can email me and I can forward you to him. That's at Roy at wingumus.com. And for those on social media that want to look at more content, um, on that social page, it's a wingham underscore USA. So W-I-N-G-A-M-M -M underscore USA. And there you can see um, how these vans look out in Europe and the interior designs that we have. So if you want to... Does yeah. Wingham USA have a website as well? Uh, wingham.com and you can just click the USA tab and it has everything broken down in metrics in terms of uh, the gallons, um, electrical systems, the, the lithium systems, solar panel systems. That's all on the website too. Awesome. I am in love with this thing. It is really, really cute. Just one more time, you have a crowdfunding as well that you could own a piece of this or you could own, you could buy stock into it, I stock guess. Stock into it. I'm about to invest in it. I haven't yet. <laughs> but I want to and I will uh, hopefully by the time I ne do my next video with you guys uh, over um, I, I believe I'm gonna go check out your another another facility I'm not gonna say what or where uh, but uh, that'll be a tease for my, my yeah, channel, channel right there <laughs> uh, Roy thank you so much for my pleasure uh, also taking care of me today kind of showing me around no, no Jersey and a little bit of New York so uh, thank you guys so much check them out please I can't say that enough I am in love with this. I cannot wait for this to hit the United States. Just give us a follow. Stay tuned for more content in Wingham. And uh, like and subscribe. Thanks, buddy. You're welcome. Later. Later. I